USCIS has given you additional time to respond. Hi, I'm Jim Hacking, immigration lawyer practicing law throughout the United States at our offices in St. Louis, San Diego, and Washington, D.C. USCIS made another announcement the other day that sounds like good news to immigrants, but in reality, it probably isn't. I suppose that in some strange way it is. Uh, back in March of 2020, shortly after the COVID um, pandemic started in America, USCIS made the decision to add 60 days automatically to all requests for evidences, uh, continuances for more evidence, notices of intent to deny, notices of intent to revoke, these kinds of things where USCIS sends you a notice and says you have to respond within such and such a day. Now, just to keep things as confusing as possible, instead of just updating the letters that you get um, when you receive a notice of intent to deny or request for evidence or a notice of intent to revoke, one of these notices, instead of just me making it clear in that letter how much time you have, they've just been granting an additional 60 days. So, And they phrase it very strangely. They say, if it's received within 60 days of the deadline, we'll still consider it. So I can only imagine for immigrants who don't necessarily read and speak a lot of English that this is very confusing. Why don't you just tell me how many days I have? Why don't you just tell me when it's due? But instead, they send you a letter and says, say it's due in 30 days or it's due in 87 days. But they don't tell you in that letter that you get an extra 60 days. Uh, they don't always tell you. So um, I'm here to tell you that you do get an extra 60 days if you're uh, request for evidence or notice of intent to deny, notice of intent to revoke, those kinds of things. If they are um, dated before March 26, 2022, you get an extra 60 days to respond. And, and they've been continuing this. Um, it'll be two years now almost uh, from the time this 60-day uh, additional time uh, began, you're going to get those 60 days. So let's say you receive a request for evidence that's dated March 15th, 2022, and it says it's due uh, on, let's say, June 30th, then you automatically get two more months, so it would actually be due on August 30th. So um, this is something that they tout as good news, but in reality, it's not really good news. It just means they're going to take longer to slow down your case. It just means that they um, are saying how backlogged they are and how busy they are. And one of the best ways they have to do that is to sort of push things back on you. So now they can say, well, some of the delay was your fault. And I think it also probably keeps some supervisors happy. Well, at least I got it off my desk. At least it's not here. Uh, on my desk, the delay is now on the applicant's part. So obviously you wanna be really careful with deadlines. Your case can get denied if you don't get it in on time, either before the, the original due date or before the extended due date. Due date. We try to uh, file our responses within the original due date. We try not to take advantage of those 60 days because obviously we're trying to get you your immigration benefit as fast as possible. Sometimes we need all the time. Sometimes we get some requests for evidences or notices of intent to deny that are pretty onerous, pretty harsh, pretty thorough. And we need every single day in order to develop enough evidence to try to overcome it. Because of course, when you're receiving a request for evidence or notice of intent to deny or revoke, like I mentioned, you're generally... Uh, your case is generally on life support. It's not a good thing to receive those kinds of notices. So sometimes it's really good to get that extra time. I'm not complaining. I just want you to understand what's going on. If you have questions about this or if you need help responding to a notice of intent to deny or a notice of intent to revoke or a request for evidence, or your case has been continued to help you go gather more evidence and you need our help, give us a call, 314-961-8200. You can email us, info at hackinglawpractice.com. Be sure to join us on our Facebook group. It's called Immigrant Home. We'd also love it if you subscribe to our YouTube channel, click the bell so you get alerted whenever I shoot a new video. And then of course we have our live show. Um, we're trying to go live every single day in January. We'll see how it goes. I'm pledging to do 31, 31 minutes at least uh, every single day, all 31 days in January. We'll see how it goes. Thanks a lot and have a great day.